This is the last one. Opportunity. A place where you can flush out your calling and passion. Man, I, I was looking for this, um, and it just came out of nowhere. I, I didn't mention it before, but uh, I was homeless for a while. And um, and so I always ha have had a passion to to and, a comp and compassion for people that uh, that are that are homeless. And uh, so I remember in Detroit, uh, I was attending a church, a minister at the time, serving in the church faithfully. But then I also owned my company at the time. I was working in IT and then ended up starting my own IT company. Uh, a, a, a friend of mine came to me and started talking to me about, man, I want to do ministry down in the homeless shelter. So essentially, we went, and it, was, it was maybe, it was in my early 20s. We went and we, essentially, we planted a church inside the homeless shelter, right? You see, that there are people and there's places that will allow you to go and serve. I'll never forget that uh, the pastor at the time, Pastor Ron Griffin, he said this. He was like, "You're going. I don't want you sitting around here waiting for me to die before you start trying to fulfill your calling. And I'll use the word passion here. Don't sit around and wait for me to die before you start going to try to fulfill your passion. Get up and go do something now. I took that. I ran with it. And I started looking for opportunity for me to flush out what my passion is. I need an opportunity. And they allowed me to go there. So here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you to go to a homeless shelter. But that, that may be your place. You may want to go to a church. That's a place. Uh, you may want to go to your local American Red Cross. I used to work for Red Cross as an employee. And the majority of Red Cross is ran by, uh, we call them unpaid employees or unpaid staff. Go to those places. But here's what I want you to do that's a little bit different than maybe what you've ever heard. That I want you to go and I want you to define based on your passion, based on your calling, stuff we, you went over earlier, hopefully. And based on those things, I want you to outline and say, like, man, here's some of my gifts. Here's what I'm passionate about. Do you have anything that fits close to this? And ask them to place you specifically in an area that gives you access to the thing that you're most passionate about. That's where you start the journey, and it starts to go from there. This ends our time. Can you believe it? Um, like, yo, like, I'm, I'm hoping you got something. Um, this this has been very meaningful to me personally, and then I've been able to give this to I don't know countless artists, stay at home moms, students, business owners, you name it, just to help clarify, man, what is my occupation, and what is my passion, and then make sure that they're not at war against each other, and make sure you don't have some happily ever after type of cuddly dream of the of these two. Uh, if they do meet together at some point, at least you're prepared and you, you've done the work to figure out the two. My objective for this video is just for you to, to think about those two critically and have a couple tools to go after them um, very intentionally. If you would like an opportunity for me to, to spend some time with you to, to, to do some coaching, I would love to do that. Um, there is a fee to it. Um, just go and, uh, and, and we'll, we'll make that happen. But if you go to that site, I will do initial consultation with you just to get into your, get, get in your mind, to get an understanding of what it is that you're looking to do. And then we'll see what God is up to and we'll move it to the next step. Thank you. God bless you. Talk to you next time. This video is brought to you by Hustle Pray Eat, man, where we believe in God designing us to work hard, to seek him and take care of ourselves and others.